Great Britain, Octagon MMA is coming. November 4th at the AO Arena in Manchester. Ivan Buki booking a heat is in the red corner, Black Trunks taking on Abu Tunkara, the Frenchman in the white shorts, blue corner. Excited for this one. We are set, we are ready, we are underway. Me, Brian Lacey, alongside Luke Barnett, calling the action here in the Stranitsa. All about distance control here, Abu coming out, switching stances. I feel like it's a matter of time before oh. Buki looks for that takedown. Nice, stiff left hand there. Long yeah. limbs does Abu have. Those arms are deceptively long. Yeah, looks switched on, unfazed by the reception, the man in front of him, and the mission he's got ahead of him, really starting very well, Luke. Yeah, beautiful start from him, controlling the range and finding his jab range early. But it's like I said, Ivan just kind of biding his time looking for this takedown, doesn't want to overcommit too early. And Ivan Booking, the last time we saw him in the cage was against Lozen Keita. That was at Octagon 33. He lost that lightweight fight, lost his title, then sustained injuries to his knee, to his shoulder, had operations on both, had to relinquish the featherweight title as well. It has been a long time coming, this return, but here he is. And not an easy fight, right? Not an easy style to deal with uh, for his first fight back. But especially after lo losing that fight to Keita, maybe, you know, glimpses of that here now oh, with these strikes oh. coming through. Looking quite happy to stand and bang, though, and stand and strike. I feel like, you know, Abu's extremely athletic and hard to deal with, has good takedown defense. Maybe he doesn't want to exert too much energy early on. But that speed, nice feints here from Abu, trying to just find that right hand. Yeah, they're both working that range. Now, really wide base. Oh, spinning back fist. That puts him into range, but shoved off. Good work there from Abu, good, good awareness. Feints that shot, changes level. Oh, overthrows misses. that just left hand. Misses, though. Eyes wide open from Abu. Looks like he's seeing everything at the moment. Oh, nice left hand right there from Buckingham, stepping in with those. Wild strikes, though, from Abu. That single right hand, trying to, trying to counter. Spinning attack from Buckingham. Oh, oh. That hurt. Yeah, Ivan pushing up, oh, and that left hand left. him again. Oh, not the dream start Buckingham wanted, getting a real wake up here in round number one. The yeah, pressure half, coming. Halfway through, that's what you're oh, waiting for. There you go. And once on top, Bookie is hard work, has great top pressure, great timing for him then to get that takedown. He needed it. Yeah. He really needed that. Was in a lot of trouble on the feet. His passing game as well is really good. Oh, look at that, Abu showing. His jiu-jitsu skills, look at that slide straight into half guard now. Nice regain though of the butterfly. Tom Cara here looking maybe to get back to his feet. Needs to watch his neck as he stands back up. Oh, booking a grabbing hold of this. He went for the chin strap, still holding on to that neck. Oh dear. Manages to escape though. <laughs> Yeah. Does Tom Carr, and you can see a bit of frustration in the face of Bookie. Got to deal with these, this stand up again. Yeah. Great work to get back to his feet there. Yeah, a bit of blood from the nose as well from Booking up. Oh, there's a nice entry on that single. Gets it to the mat. Strong, strong takedown. One minute 45 seconds left. Listen to the crowd respond to that. Yeah, Tom Carr has got a ground game though. We've seen it. He was trying to switch up for that arm bar. Did well to get back into that. Oh, again now here. Has the Sean Phillips got great work. See how he's got that, that left leg, gives up on it. Now maybe gonna try and get that right foot on the hip, gets the left one instead. Booking out, landing some shots, gets kicked off. Trying to stand back up now, it's Tom Cara. Gets to his feet, great balance, great athleticism and turns him out. Yeah, Tom Carey, look at his record. His six finishes are by knockout, but really has a good ground game, Luke. You said it off his back, very good, but look at that. Hip toss, he's looking at the armor. He's looking for the Kimura with the hand net. Trying to snap that, he'll put the hips into it. Oh, oh he almost had it. Almost had it. It's like the Americana with the, uh, the hips. He needs to push his hips forward. Great work from Booking here, right in front of us in the commentary position. The old school judo armbar doesn't quite get it. And Tom Cara responds well again. 
but had a lot of trouble. There was Abu Tonkara surviving here in front of us. That was great. Yeah. Look at that, the hip toss straight into it, Luke. Bookie got some incredible tricks up his sleeve. A true veteran of the game. Has been there, done it on every stage, every platform, performed, grabbed belts in multiple countries. Nice right little short shot for the ring there. Oh, and up. Dirty boxing from the inside from Tunkara. And happy to engage in the grappling as well, not looking to break away too early, doesn't seem phased. Oh, swinging, swinging now to finish this round. There we go. A, a fantastic opening stanza here. Looking in the red. Baited breath in the arena. Booking is still the favourite here. People still behind there, man. I mean, the veteran is not going to wane here in the second round. He's only going to get stronger. A lot of confidence here, maybe in the grappling now. Tom Cora do doesn't want to engage here. He doesn't want to be in this space because Bookie has the tricks. He has the little trips. He has the judo tosses. He has the, the, the veteran experience in these positions. And he just needs to make one small adjustment. And, and he's back on the mat. And once he's on the mat, he's in danger. He's, he's dealt with everything extremely well so far. But you still, game plan wise, why would you try and engage and be up against the fence? You're not trying to wear out, Bookie. I, I, I'm not quite sure on this. Yeah, and people have short memories, right? They just look at that Cater fight, and look, it's Cater, and it happened. It was the right moment, the right time. But then you jump back to the fight before that, the barbaric fight with Ivan Booking, one of the fights of the year in any promotion, where he claimed that featherweight title against uh, Wojta Barbaric. So you're talking about somebody who's been there, done it, and they will face adversity for sure. But this is his fight style. This is why he's a legend. He is not in boring fights ever. Yeah, comeback victories happen a lot for him. You know, he's been in there with the best. And, and for Tom Cara, you know, he does normally fade as well. He has a great first round and could, he, cardio has been a problem in the past for him. So to engage in such high pace grappling, and it's an interesting decision from him. Doing well so far here though, as he tries to break away. Oh, looking for that takedown. Right hand lands for Tongara, and again, Oh, that was a desperate reach there from uh, booking up. No setup on that entry. Gets the double underhooks again. That's Tonkara. Nice shoulder shrug here. Just going to disturb the breathing of pushing, although not going to do much else. Deep diving for the neck, gets the front headlock. Look at it. That's how quick he's able to change that position round and threaten with the finish, right? Man, great work there, though, from Abu Tonkara to get out of that position. He looked like he sat down for a moment and, and was feeling the pressure of that front headlock, but managed to get back to his feet. It's a real back and forth battle, this one. Exhausting as well, right? We're only halfway through, just over halfway through round number two. And they are leaving it all in there. But this, like you said, this is Ivan's style. This is what he likes to do. He likes to make it dirty. He likes to get in these grappling exchanges, wrestle back and forth, get it to the ground. You know, extremely powerful and like has these veteran tricks as we've seen. He's attempting these guillotines and these, you know, interesting movements that he can get. Going for the outside treat though here is uh, Tonkara, loses it. Nice little elbow attempt, misses. And again with that judo toss. Bit more wise to it this time though, Tonkara, because he even goes to the head. Old school judo grab the head throw, which, you know, for MMA you're not supposed to do because you can get the back taken. But old habits die hard, I think. Nice shoulder shrugs again. Big one to the jaw there. Booking is just struggling to make space. As I say that, it's Tonkara that actually steps back and gives it him. Booking that seems to be coming alive now, though, in this second round. Seems to be getting better as the round continues. More urgency from him to close the distance and to land shots. Oh, Beautiful left hand. Left. And again, just misses with the second one. Good timing on that takedown, but great defense there from Tonkara. We get to see the stats. Significant strikes uh, in, in the corner for pushing up, but that'll be on the ground and pound. Oh, nice yes, takedown. Take down. Look at that, that's a crazy takedown, top position as well. And has the arm trapped as well. Could go deep half guard, not a great idea though in MMA. Does well to reverse round, good grappling here from Tonkara. Needs to watch the legs as they're tied up. 
Booking her on top. Attack just, in the neck. Yeah, just under a minute for him to work from this position as well. He's got the chin strap there, Luke. Trying yeah, you control you, the head, right? Uses it to pass the guard. High pressure now. Oh, a big moment. And he earned it now. Booking a listen, setting his crowd alight once more, as he has done many times in the octagon cage. What a fight, Luke. What a fight. It's coming up now. Looks tired, does Pompdola. Oh, the pressure mounted. Ivan Buckinger looking for the finish. This could be it. Can he do it? The dream return is on. Buckinger is back. Ivan Buckinger finishes Tungara. Finishes him in front of the Stranitzer crowd. What an end to that fight. Jak sám byl zápas. Ladies and gentlemen, after four minutes and 46 seconds in the second round, TKO by punches, Ivan Buki Bukinga. A new era begins as Octagon MMA, Europe's best MMA show, is coming to the UK for the very first time. Octagon 48 will go down on November 4th at the world-renowned AO Arena in Manchester, where UK fans will experience the electric atmosphere and heart-pounding action that Octagon MMA is known for across Europe and beyond. We will bring some of MMA's biggest names, plus a feature bout that puts two UK stars that nobody would expect to see inside the cage, going head-to-head -head after 10 months of vigorous training. Ladies and gentlemen, bravo, one, one of the UK's best comedians will take on reality TV superstar Jake Quickenden. This is the fight that many people have had their eyes on. You will see UK MMA's rising star, Liverpool's Shemrock. And one of the most well-known, most dangerous... This phenom has already racked up eight victories before the time limit, with seven of them in the very first round. And the cherry on top will be the grand finale of the MMA reality TV show, Octagon Challenge, England versus Ireland. After two months of the TV show, at this night in Manchester, the Octagon Challenge champion will be crowned. Great Britain, Octagon MMA is coming. November 4th at the AO Arena in Manchester.